another American review. Yes, for the thousandth time on this series, get ready for another item review. Except this time, it'll be a bit different because I was originally just going to re uh, review Spin Sword from Power Rangers Samurai. Except until I realised how, how like, simple the item was. But then I realised I also have the Black Box Morpher. So I decided that I will be reviewing a both. Easy. Right. Actually, before I start, I'm just going to do a bit of a jump cut. I've just forgotten a few things. Back in a mo. In that jump cut, I tried to look for the additional hidden disc, secret disc that I have, and I couldn't find it. It was the lion disc that came with the spin sword. Um, so instead, we're going to have to make do with this disc, which is the little... It's a combination disc for, for, for one of the combinations. I don't have the Japanese equivalent, but I will still do a comparison with the sushi disc from the sushi changer that I reviewed a couple of videos ago. Here it is for comparison later on. Right, let's get on with looking at the hidden disc first. As you can see, we've got some kanji, or power symbols as they were called in America, in different colours. Red, pink, purple, navy, blue, cyan, green and yellow. Then we've just got standard colour, gold on the back. Now this disc came with the super disc, also with the black box. So, let's show off the spin sword. Now, this is a fairly standard sword weapon. Um, if you have a look at the bottom, oh, didn't sit this through, did I? Have a look at the bottom. I'm going to hold up weird. Seriously, there's some paint on the handle, uh, which I believe is all accurate to the Japanese version. Paint's on the other side too, so it's consistent. We've got this red molded thing here this is meant to be a button i believe because the japanese version had lights and sounds this doesn't have that um feels weird this should be a button it doesn't press as a button though which is a bit odd um we've got a little spinny halt and the little mirror so you spin the bottom and the mirror spins we've got a little fin here which with some suspicious looking clips for the black box. I'm not going to lie, it is suspicious because you, it looks like something will clip onto it. Mm, and it will, I mean, you're not wrong for, for thinking that. We've got this red line here. This is meant to be an LED, but was just painted detail. It is the same on the other side too. We've got, oh, blade. This is interesting. Um, the silver, the metallic silver part is molded part of the sword. The grey is actually rubbery plastic and you can tell by the fact we've got a little circle here and a little screw hole. This was separate in the package and you had to put it on. This blade is a lot bigger than the Japanese version. I believe the Japanese version only goes up to about here where the gold part ends. Because it makes sense, doesn't it, to uh, only have the sword end here. So I think it's about... Oh, and it goes, goes up to about there. Right, let's show off the function with the hidden disc. So you put the hidden disc on, up onto the handle, and onto the little connector on the bottom here. Nice. And now, this is the hilt of the sword. It can still be spun freely. And now when you spin it, it will play a neat little animation in the mirror. 
it has the it's basically supposed to be a, uh, like a multiple color version of the power symbol except it just doesn't look as good and in case you're wondering yes you can indeed put the disc on upside down looks a bit weird on camera actually not gonna lie because it looks like it's spinning one way and it spins the other way looks kind of trippy actually in case you're wondering what the animation looks like with this side, it's just... No. Right, now let's move on to the black box. Now, the black box... This is a major downgrade from the Japanese version. I'll get to why in a minute. This is the one I'm probably going to be stuck on for Japanese comparisons the most, actually. If we... Um... I'm just going to get the elephant out of the room first. There's an on-off switch right here along the battery compartment. There is no... Nothing happens. This is out of juice. Will I get the batteries replaced? Probably not. Um, if we have a look at the... On the side here, you can see that there's a little clip. That makes it stay shut. It does a fairly, fairly good job. It won't just fall apart. Good too, because this comes off really easily. Um have a look on the other side here there's a release button which we'll get to in a minute uh back side uh what can we say about the back side the back side is interestingly there's a little clip here that moves whenever the top button is pushed just a bit release a little fang it looks like on the bottom and then if we go on to the top all there is on the top is the button which admittedly is a lot bigger than the button on the Japanese version. And also this is missing lights as, as well. So you open it up and you set a disc on the center part here. There's also some a speaker here. There we go. And you close the lid. And now one of the symbols on the disc will go will appear in the little Super Samurai window box. Neat. So when you push the button, the disc spins by one image. And it was also supposed to come out with one of the two phrases. It, and it doesn't do that. Of course, this is compatible with all discs. You can also spin it yourself, both ways. I think I prefer doing it like this. It feels more satisfying to spin it yourself, as opposed to using the function. Now the last thing we will cover with this little merchandise item is the combining function. You've got this little fin here. You take this and you slide it on. It goes on with a nice satisfying click. This is the Super Samurai mode and does it do anything different? No. It doesn't unlock any new sounds in the black box. Morpher doesn't do anything for the sword. Uh, does it do anything new on the Japanese version for the Japanese equivalent? I don't think it does. You can still do the, the both disc functions, plus you can do this if you wanted to. You could display it like this. Which is kind of how the Kyori Mario was to be displayed. Or the Shark Zord. The American release of that never achieved that, but nice. And then, of course, to release it, all you need to do is press the button on the side and lift up. Of course, it stays nice and firmly locked in. So, a very good, strong connection there. Meaning that they actually gave a damn when they made this thing. Okay, now for the Japanese comparisons. First, we will compare the discs. If you've watched my previous Sushi Trader disc video, which is the Sushi Trader video, you can tell that, yeah, 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 there's quite a lot of different... There, there, there is a massive size difference between these discs. If I put the American in front of the Japanese, you can tell that, yes, mm, the Japanese is a lot bigger, plus a lot thicker. The moldy detail on the side is, of course, more apparent. Um, of course, this disc folds. The None of the American discs do that. On the back, there's still quite a lot of differences. It's all hollow on the back of the American disc. Uh, uh, in contrast, we've got some moldy detail on the back of the Japanese disc. Plus, we've got some little 
nodules for the Inro Maru or Black Box Morpha because with the Black Box Morpha or the Inro Maru in the uh, Shinkenji Japanese version there was like a set of five pins that when you push a disc on to the pins it will hit some and avoid others. These two holes here are the two pins it will avoid and the filled in part here indicates which pins it will press down, thus making the Inro Maru recognize this as the suture disc. The differences between the Shinken Maru and the Spin Sword, this is the Spin Sword, is of course this button here does nothing. The Japanese version triggers some lights and sounds, no, it does nothing that different. Um, of course, there used to be a light here. This blade was not rubbery. The Japanese discs, of course, do not fit on the on here. Although, admittedly, the animation still kind of works, but it kind of looks a bit wrong on the Shinken Maru due to the hinges getting in the way of the an animation. I think the animation for this disc is meant to be like some spinning um, shapes, as you can see. There's different shapes spinning here. It's like this star, star shape spinning around. Again, yeah, it's too big, won't fit. Um, the, the weird thing is it looks like it just needs to be shortened by a bit and it might fit. But it won't, of course it won't. And of course, for the black box, the same applies. It feels like it might fit, but it won't. So, it's not small enough to fit inside. Interestingly enough, if you wanted to, you could fold this up here and display it like this. Which is something I've seen DX Tokusatsu do with the suture changer. Except this is not the suture changer, this is the black box morpher. So, nice little review duo there. No, not the funny green owl. Um, what can I say about the samurai toy line as a whole? Because um, I think this is the last item from samurai I've got. That's a roleplay item. I think it is. Um, majorly, I am majorly disappointed in Bandai of America for screwing this up badly. Um, I believe they could have tried a bit better. Had they been given the chance, but unfortunately enough, like with my Mega Blaster review, all these weapons here, as well as the Morphers, they're all meant to be like budget toys, and they're not like um, the uh, most expensive items in the range. That actually started with Mega Force because Gozi Morpher was 30 quid. The Samurizer from Samurai and Super Samurai, that was only 15, so they hadn't really gotten started or not. Still 15 quid for a thing that hasn't got any pushable buttons. Oh my god. Um, yeah, so Spin Sword, Morpher, Black Box Morpher, duo review, dual review, because they would have been just been too short on their own. What do I think of these two items? Well, disappointment. Um, they could have been a lot more, like because the pins was were missing um, from this particular item. Was not so, unfortunately. I feel like if they wanted to, they could have made like bigger, more deluxe versions and had this as like a budget version, like like how they used to do in the training sets. Uh, but that wasn't such a thing, especially. It's extra disappointing when you realise that this weapon was actually included in the training sets, and the training sets are meant to include budget weapons only. Meaning that all the contents of the training sets are all the proper weapons, they're not like budgeted budget versions. Um, that's really disappointing. They could have done more had they tried, and they de never did. So, um, right, before I go to bits of news, firstly, will I try to tell you guys what the next video is going to be about probably not will i announce it via community post page probably um since i think i need to get into the swing of doing that a bit more uh secondly i think i will be changing my thumbnail formula up a bit 
because before I did say, oh, I'm going to do some proper thumbnails. I, I mean, I did for the first three videos. I think I stopped recently. Um, and now I feel like I need to do a bit, a bit more of a change, maybe um, include some more bits to do with the show this comes on maybe include some more images in the thumbnails I don't know um maybe because otherwise you guys might not know what these fucking things are from um interesting although that might prove a bit more of a difficulty if um, I ever have sent high items that came from a series that never came from America so you might still be confused anyway Power Rangers is Power Rangers apparently Except if they all speak Japanese and live next to a huge mountain.